good, Abigail? Hi there, Arthur. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Hey! Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will fall down to school. Easy. Easy. You're okay. Good girl. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. 
<laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Easy there. Yep. Hey, fellas. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. 
Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down a year off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Sarah. She damn near. Well, I'll be. Can I help you, sir? Come on! Try and help people! I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Heard gunshots last night. Screaming, too. Lady screaming. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I, I, I paid for nothing. Next of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just Man, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. Oh, uh, I will. Okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get 
I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give me my horn. Just borrowing it. Hey, stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. Not, not one lick, not one sense in this here old mind. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir.
Come on, girl. your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Master. Welcome back. Who took mouth to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs, just watch him grow. Well, you could blow me down. Oh, shit! Indeed. Too much for me. I'm getting the law. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get, get confused about I that. What the? It ain't even worth it. Just go. Straight... Stop. Just I ain't playing away. here. Get I'm giving you here. one more chance. What do you think you're doing here?
Hello, can I help you? Can I buy a ticket, please? Right then, just head inside the tent. Tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night. But for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Hey, mister. Hello. Hello, boy.
Earning your way, I see. I promise you they won't be tight. How do you do? Evening. Hello. My landlady's damn bank closed shop and ran off with her money, so she ain't strict. I want to get a drink. I'm parched. Evening, mister. Give a fellow a nickel. Come on, out of the way. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. 
Uh, I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. In need of a good story? Be seeing you around. New Hanover Gazette. How'd you do? Something you don't see every day. Guess he ain't such a big, tough cowboy after all. Ah, oh, poor baby. Did Mama never hold you? Reckon she might have held him too much. We can't keep this to ourselves. It would be wrong. Hell no. The town has a right to know. Big Hank likes a spank. <laughs> the hell are you two peeping at? So damn funny, anyway. Well, I've been a bad boy again, Mama. A bad, bad boy. Yes, you have. Oh, well, don't go easy on them. I need to be taught a lesson. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Close the drain. If you tell a soul, I swear I'll kill you! Thank you for the show! <laughs>
Welcome back. No, oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Would you lack any assistance? Yeah, okay. Sure. Just relax. I'll take care of you. Hope the water's hot enough. I'll be out of your hair in no time. You might be the friendliest person I've met in this town. And that sure doesn't surprise me about this place. My dog, Copper, used to take baths with me when he was alive. Well. So how are things with you? Good, good. How did a nice lady like you end up in a place like this? Now, that's a question you shouldn't ask a lady, dear. All right, I think I'm good. It was nice getting to know you. Howdy, friend.
again. Partner? Hmm. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know? Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, Paul. Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. I I'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. All the best. You too, friend. Having fun there? This is the exact opposite of fun, mister. All right, man. Why does he yell at us like that? If he don't like the way we're doing it, he should do it himself. Damn straight. Let's just enjoy the silence for a few minutes before he starts griping at us again. Ooh, oh, you poor bastard.
Hey, wait a second. Nonsense yet. Go. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. <laughs> Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope. Really. How you get on out there, Mr. Morgan? I can't. Why? Mm, what's it like? A decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay. As long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. What are you mumbling about? Why are we fighting the Philippines? Huh? Use a slug of whiskey. I don't around. know. Why are you Maybe so worked up day? about it? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yep. so bad. Good morning to you. Why don't you sit by the fire for a bit? Hey, Arthur. You okay? Hi there. I think so. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Grimshaw. Hello.
with the funeral. We're burying them two, three at a time, and there's 50 charges. Case of the boat's just a feast on the corpse. 